Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today I just wanna talk about some upcoming changes to Fastnack or Fastnash. I know I can't pronounce that correctly, but I'm trying here. We'll get it right one day, I swear to God. But yeah, upcoming changes and they're actually pretty amazing. So let's talk about it. Let's get into it here. Okay, so if you're not aware to Fastnack is coming back June 25th to July 9th. So that's like two weeks basically of Fastnack. And there are some new masks that have been added. If I'm not mistaken, I think there's actually six new glowing masks that have been added to uh, the loot pool. And yeah, just some more rare ones to get. And I love Fastnack, man. I know it's not like the most... Um, like exciting event, but it's just like a free lottery, right? You just show up, you get it done, and then, you know, if you get a rare mask, you can pretty much, you know, trade it for any kind of god roll on Reddit. It's, I think it's pretty cool. It's, it's like, it's like a lottery, and it's so, you know, amazing when you do get one of those rare drops. Like, it's awesome. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Let me know in the comments your guys' opinion of Fastnack as well. But um, just wanted to point out as well, too, there were some uh, notes in the patch notes. There was notes in the patch notes, believe it or not, um, <laughs> about Fastnack. And I just want to read them here. So one of the updates is, is masks of all tiers will correctly drop upon event completion. Now, again, let me know what you guys think in the comments. But what I think this means is, is that... Um, like, you know, they just came out with the glowing mass, the uh, last event, and if you got a rare one, you more than likely got one of those. Now I think it's just meant to correctly drop all rare ones. So going right back to the Deathclaw mask error ones, right up to the glowing ones, you can get one of the the 3.33% ones or whatever they are, right? So, in my opinion, the new ones that are going to be out with this event coming at the end of the month will probably be the hardest ones to get if this is what I think is true because then they've added a bunch more to the loot pool. Even though I know they have the same percentage of dropping, it's just going to be harder to get these newer ones that most people don't have, right? All the other ones are in circulation. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Um, improved spawn rates of honeybees. I think we're all happy with this. The one robot you would talk to, you basically just gets you to kill some honeybees and they don't really like to spawn very fast. So yeah, nice to see that they fix that. Um, add a donation basket near the event. Share your repeat mass with other players. Now this is awesome. We were all just leaving, you know, loot bags at, you know, the end of the March. Now there's a donation bin. We can start throwing in those masks. So that's awesome because all the common ones are just so easy to get. So if you don't have a common mask, definitely go check out that donation bin and hopefully there's one in there that you need. Um, marchers now start walking to the parade immediately when their task is completed without needing to wait for their dialogue line to be finished. Oh my God, amazing. They do take forever to start walking to the end of the march, or to, to start the march. They all take forever to get there, in my opinion. So nice to see that they are walking faster there, basically, um, or just getting to walking there faster. Also, they are walking there faster, increased the walk speed of the marchers as well. So that's like the whole event. So I'm very curious to see how fast we can get fast act done now. I'm sure it won't be a huge, improvement but we'll see man i'm hoping we can get this done a couple minutes quicker at least because sometimes those robots take forever especially if you get the ones further away last it's like everyone's just sitting there waiting and emoting for that one last robot to like you know dur -dur 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 -dur, all the way up there right so yeah it's nice to see that this is you know made a lot faster and yeah Another reason why I wanted to make this video, I thought this was actually pretty cool. Um, we'll now randomly pick between five possible end boss encounters. So I'm not sure what, I know this was on the uh, PTS, but I'm not sure what kind of enemies we're going to be getting. So that's kind of cool. Um, suiciders aren't the greatest, so it could be a bit of an improvement in my opinion. Um, rather than, you know, having to make sure those suiciders don't get close to the robots. But if you do this in a public lobby, it's pretty much taken care of. But I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what kind of enemies we get. If you were on the PTS and you know what kind of enemies you got, let us know in the comments. I'll pin your comment. 
And yeah, definitely looking forward to the new Fast Snack. I know we've had a lot recently, but with these changes, it's definitely going to make it exciting for me. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you're excited for this, or you're just going to try to, you know, avoid it or whatever. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.